we are all talking about it. At home, at work, with everyone. And in these conversations, someone always pops up. The expert. Our lives are guided by all sorts of expertise. Doctors treat us when we are sick. Scientists check if our food is healthy. Policymakers receive advice from experts of all kinds. We trust experts not only because of their professional background, but because we assume that they are honest, reliable and well-intentioned, that they are trustworthy. Without knowing much about them, we take a leap of faith to trust them. But like in any relationship, trust can be fragile. In science, trust relies on a complex scrutiny in which scientists check on each other. But occasionally, scientists are caught in fraudulent practices. The media tend to exaggerate scientific discoveries to attract attention, and false promises have consequences. Increasingly, we rely on social media for news, where it is difficult to check its veracity. Scientific consensus has become the target of political attacks by populist politicians, and fake news is being used to discredit scientific facts. With all this noise and confusion, some people wonder, why should we trust experts? In fact, we all need experts. Modern life in complex societies heavily depends on knowledge from others. Without trust, we cannot learn from each other, work with each other, live with each other. Maybe the question should be instead, how do we know who to trust? For that, we don't need to trust blindly. We need healthy skepticism. We need to learn to trust the trustworthy expert.